Welcome to Goliath, my name is Chris Gamble. I'm part of the developer relations team, and this is a little bit of a training content that we're also gonna make public so other people can see what it looks like when we do training. Uh, so I wanted to review all of the windows you're gonna see when you are doing stuff with our Zephyr training now that we're using Nordic boards here. So let's go take a look at my desktop here. So I have a couple windows uh, open down here. First thing you'll see is the NRF Connect for de uh, desktop tools. Uh, this is something that you will install as part of our training because we are using Nordic specific boards. The other nice thing is that this is cross-platform, so you don't have to like, go and find your own you know, uh, serial monitor or programmer or do stuff on the command line. We want to make things kind of as universal as possible. You, of course, are welcome to do your own thing if you have preferences around command line or however you do your normal tools, but this is the recommended way. So in our directions, which is another one of my windows here, so training.goliath.io is our training if you're watching this outside of the actual training session right now, you'll only be able to see, you'll be able to see this training.goliath.io content. You're of course welcome to go through it. The things that you see with Chasm, which is the next thing we'll look at, will not be available to you unless you're part of the training session. So let's go look at Chasm. Chasm is a virtualized desktop environment in the browser that allows you to actually utilize a pre-configured tool chain. This is really important because people come to training through with all different types of computers and backgrounds and OS is whatever, we want to standardize as much as possible. Everybody has a browser, everybody can go and log into here. What this looks like is when you, when you, if you do have a registration, which I happen to, having set it up, uh, you will see a bunch of, uh, probably you'll only see one, one icon. Right now we're still in testing phases, so I'm gonna do the most, the latest version here. I'm gonna go and say, launch a new session. You say this is open in a new tab. The thing that I wanted to call out specifically, I want you to make, I want you to make it a single tab window. That's really important to me. And then you see this actually is a desktop environment. We're actually in a desktop environment. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this arrow on the left. This is where you can also do things like clipboard and other things we talk about in the training, but we want you to make it full screen. And now it kind of actually looks like a desktop. That's really important here. This is actually Ubuntu running on an Amazon EC2 container in the cloud. Uh, and again, we're doing this because all of the Zephyr toolchain is available and ready to go from your first click. That's really important to us because it does take a little while to get this stuff installed. There are uh, directions that we have and we'll give some guidance about how to go and install this stuff on your local machine, but that is an exercise left to you after training is over. What you'll see here in the desktop is that we have uh, Visual Studio Code, we have an, a terminal if you wanna use it, you can actually access the directions within here, um, but you also see we already have the repo that we're gonna be using in our experiments as well. We're uh, Currently we're programming, oh geez, uh, the two things that you see on the desktop here, uh, those two images, and I'm frozen because I unplugged a USB device, of course. <laughs> OBS is like, no. Uh, so this is the NRF 7002. You also see the NRF 9160 DK. Both these DKs are available as part of our training. Uh, so those are the two suggested hardwares that you're gonna be going through today. And uh, what we're gonna do is we actually, we build all the programs in the Chasm environment. Again, we're, we're using that pre-installed tool change that you don't have to install anything locally aside from the NRF programming tools. And uh, then once you have a binary, you download that off this machine onto your local machine and then you use the programmer. Again, all of those directions are on training training.glat.io. What we're looking at here are the various windows that you might have open. So again, you're gonna have the desktop environment. You see it actually still is a browser. This is just in full screen mode. You can, uh, you can control tab over to uh, the training docs. You can also see uh, our actual repository here. If you wanted to get at that, you need this to get the initial uh, program uh, for, for your piece of hardware, right? You'll have like an initial piece there. You'll also have things like your uh, Goliath account. Uh, that's also important, right? You wanna actually be able to get in and interact with this thing from the web. So this is the cloud version that's now talking down to this device. And then things like uh, uh, the programming environment, NRF Connect for desktop. This is another thing you'll have open, which then launches things like the programmer and the serial terminal. Both of those things are very important here. So the programmer I've already run, uh, I unplug my things, so you're not gonna see it here, uh, but you see that uh, um, we have, this is actually the interface that you use to program the binaries onto your hardware. And then finally, we have the serial terminal. This is how you go and you interact with this hardware. Again, I unplugged it, so you're not gonna see it actually streaming stuff now. But one thing to note is that you'll have not, you'll be able to select, you select the hardware up here, if anything was plugged in, and then you'll see all of the output here. The input is actually up here. I found that a little confusing, but that's just so uh, a nice little tip there as well. Uh, if you have any questions, again, if you're not part of this training, we have future trainings coming up. So this is being released just before our June training, which is on June 7th. Uh, we'll have another training coming up in July. If you're interested in that, there's a sign up down below. You will need to buy your own hardware, but the training itself is free. Uh, there is a live component to it. You, are, of course, are 
able to go and do this stuff at any point over on training.goliath.io. But all of this stuff with Chasm, you have to be there for the training. If you have any questions, let us know over on our forum, forum.goliath.io. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.